the town of I don't know what's the name of this town. It's Valentine. 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 Can I get an amen? Amen. 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 Now, me and my brother Dalton. That's we my... here. Sorry. Huh? I, I was just saying that's my I'm All Dalton. Right, don't you tell him. I'm sorry, Buck. Yes, I love you too. I love you. Just shut up. I'm gonna shut up now. All right, shut up now. All right. Sorry. That's a Dalton. <clears throat> Either way, we are here to go and celebrate the words and the thoughts of God that has uh, brought us into this crazy sort of world. Now, I know for many of y'all, some of y'all believe God and some of y'all probably don't. Maybe a little bit more question about it, thinking who's watching us over that lovely little bit of a cloud right above you. And I bet you're wondering the answer. Because I don't know either. I wish I knew. But we are here because we want to go and uh, we found a discovery, me and my brother Dalton here. Amen. Amen. You can say amen now. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. My so, man. Of course. With this discovery, I might have to need my brother Dalton to come up here. All right, come on, Dalton. Dalton, right. go on, on, Dalton. I'm, I'm coming. I'm just, I hurt my. He kicked me in the arse earlier. Yeah, I know. I know. You can do it, Dalton. You've got this. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. of course, this discovery was uh, people can tend to be possessed by the demons. Oh, uh, what? They could be possessed by the demons, like my brother here. When he was uh born. He was born in a certain way where our uncle had thought he must have been very, very intelligent and wanted to pour whiskey on top of this poor, fresh baby boy straight out of my mama's whore. Now, if you can see my brother Dalton here, hey, what a... obviously, uh, what do y'all what think of him? Come on, thoughts, any thoughts? Look at him. Beautiful. He's a beautiful young boy. He's a shine baby. Mm -hmm. When I have a demon in my head, he's going to help me. But of course, May you be exuded from your body. Absolve him. Of course. So he's now, red of course, with this demon, there's a part of his body. I'll make sure that I can go and make a miracle happen today. Praise be. And exercise this demon from this man's body as best as I can. This is my brother after all. So, of course. Oh, Lord, save me. Demon. Send that demon to hell. Death pit. Send that, that demon to hell. Death pit. That's right. Death Come pit. On. Death pit. Come on. Death pit. I, I feel the pressure of the Lord. Put the demon in the death pit. Let it out, Dawson. Smack down. that demon down. Demon Smack the demon out, out of him. Beat it out of him. Good Lord, let go of my brother. Let oh my goddamn brother! Oh, what does he got there? Make sure he's all right. Go on, damn it! Look at him, scrambling around what like what a. What is he doing to the floor? Oh, God. Ah. oh my! Ah. It's really doing Mama, it. Mama, that that looks familiar. He's doing it. Exercise. Do it. It it In does look familiar. Ah. All right, don't get up. May that I'll demon pour out heart. from that man. That's some good exercise. Who are we? No, well, hold Praise on, hold me. on. I see a little bit more of the devil. He has put his in, insignia. Praise be. Get back on the ground. One minute, one minute. Get, get, get out back of on me. the ground. Get out of me. Get out of me. Kick one more time. Kick it out of his ass. One Kick more time. Out of me. Uh, uh, one right. more for measure. Uh, one more time and try to get it cooked right in the ass. Okay. Uh, Amen. Uh, Amen. Amen. Can we get one more of a prayer? Amen. Praise the red stag. Praise the red stag. Praise the red stag. All right, as you can see, come here. Come here. All right, dog. Come here, dog. This is my brother. Hi, I'm his brother. <laughs> as you can see, I've committed a wonderful sort of miracle. Wonderful. Don't leave. Uh, these folks don't leave. You see the miracle happen before you. Don't lie. Don't lie in the name of the, 
the Lord. I really think they must have to go to a funeral. Sinners. It's fine. It's fine. Regardless, my brother here has been exorcised from this demon. I have. Now, you can sit back down now, dog. As our discovery, we've also found something incredibly wonderful. And we are I'm here in. to inform you a bit more about it. As we call it, the wonderful deeds of cannibalism. Can I get an amen? Cannibalism. Can who? Excuse me, what? Cannibalism. Cannibalism. Can we get an amen? I told you it'd be enlightening. Oh. Okay. okay. Oh, I know now. what you're saying. Wait, hold on. Are you talking? About, no. Are you talking about like uh? No. Like, like people eaters. These are the two I was telling you about outside of town. No, 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 wait, wait. Are you crazy? Hold wait, hey, hold on. Hold wait, on wait, wait, yeah, wait, you talking about me. eating folk? Hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Are you we understand. We understand. We understand. I knew they the was McCarthy's. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. They're goddamn McCarthy's. Listen, 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 real quick. We're talking about the pros and cons. Of Damn it, listen. I ain't listening to this quick. drivel no more. When it comes to this cannibalism, we understand it's bad. But there could be some good to society, eating the bad people. The bad means people. of survival, the protein of it all. We could have thought about it with all of y'all, but we did it. You know why? Because we have a reason to do so when it comes to the bad people. Your reasoning is a fucking devil. You know it. No, God will say no if you eat bad You're people. making a bad name for us good folk down at the creek. We ain't no damn cannibals, and it's because of your filth that we's been blamed and attacked. No, so we's trying to do a good thing, because if we eat the bad people, then they're gone. And they're, they're and gone. They're, no one's going to worry about them too much. Imagine, like, if you, all the bad people who would be, like, executed No, no, no. Imagine stuff, this. Imagine they get, this. They get fed to the homeless. These two want to feed Robin. people to the homeless. Right, right. That ain't yeah, right. What happens when you eat all the bad people? That ain't right. If you were stuck all the way up in the mountains, imagine this. You had nothing. No animal. No food. You know a part of your mind, every single one of you knows this very well. And you can't tell me you don't think of it. That you would consider possibly trying to survive. And nope. you would consider eating the worst person no. out of the bunch. No, you sick Absolutely. motherfucker. I lived up in the snow for back. two years. Never it once did I ever cut things about something like that. Two years I was up Yo, there. I don't, don't want to hear this no more. I, I ain't hearing this no more. This ain't right. This what ain't right. What up there? You need well, help. Let's uh, let's go into more detail then. See, for example, if you eat bad people, right, then uh, it protects the vegetables who's our friends. Vegans. Dems you is need, the real devil. Holy Veganism shit. Veganism is the real devil. You need fucking no. enlightenment. Every single you one need of enlightenment. I don't know what you've been doing. Well, I just preaching this what cannibalism and whatnot, but you use use is wrong. Use is products of the devil. You're bringing your mama great think, shame. Great shame. Your mama would be I so think, disappointed. I think both of you. I think both of you got a weakness. That's what I think. I think we can no, cure it right here, right, right now, today. You got a weakness. I think you're real weak. And right now, we can cure these from you. Listen, listen Buck, what's another pro? What's another pro to these, uh, to, to this? I'm trying to think right. that, that, we, that we go over it the seems like Useless, what do you think? With the idea of it. Uh, give me that antler. I'm going to bleed him right now. Now listen, it's the highest of God. You ain't got to be no violence. No violence needs to be here. No, There's it's no not violence. violence. Dirty cannibal. No violence. Hey, no. We only just want to make sure that an understanding of cannibalism, we understand. We know that you think we're bad people. We don't want to hurt y'all. I we really just really hate cannibals. cannibals. These all. men ought to swing. That's all we want to do, mama. They you might. understand. What? What? Maybe we can cure them. But hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Just, just, just tell us how at least a bit more. We, of course, you see, you heard what these people mentioned. They thought that they were going to go and try to kill us. Well, listen, listen, Buck. They just got to do their part next, and we have to listen to them so we know what they're saying as well. Remember what Mama said? 
That's the only <sighs> right thing to do. Man. We tied us we tied our second up in. Now we've gotta to listen to what they've gotta say. Go ahead. Got a goddamn machete. Eustace. I uh, did. What do you want me to do? And what we were trying to do Hi. is for Big the most bear. part understand yeah. that cannibalism and regular people can live side to side. Understand you want me to do? So. And it might you be want me to speak but still? You want them to be the first to? Sort of people you can the cannibals that will do your thing. Be. We ain't part of this. We ain't. You part might be of able to cure them. You know what that yep. would that, no, that if you could do that. No, oh shit, no, 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 I can't quite hear you. Hey, quiet, quiet the fuck down, you. Come on, let's go. Get the fuck out of here. Let's go. Time for us to leave, Big Bear. Deputies, take care of them. Cannibalism ain't real. Ah, fuck Dang it. Why? Hope it's not. Is he gonna look like that? Oh no, he's all right. Okay. Sorry, play this dead is out there. Most of which involves not eating your fellow people, nor preaching that other folks should be doing so. Sort of better ways then. We found numerous amount of people. <laughs> walked in there thinking, oh yeah, it might be a nice little talk, you know, a little uplifting something or other, and then That was bullshit. That was not what I was expecting. What kind I'm gonna of, make sure that the deputies know that this was not your group. Okay. 
Thank you. Tis much Good. appreciated, there, my lady. Thank Are you. Are you guys still planning on continuing your mission? Unfortunately, righteous. We're all about reform and retribution for those who who need our help. So there's, yes, you're still planning on continuing. I don't think you understand us one bit, there, deputy. And maybe you think about we're just nothing but violent folk. That ain't it. So why don't you I go ahead and come to the you're creek. trying to help people. That's let, what let you me, think. Let, let, me, let me tell you a story. If you don't mind. I'm Big Baby. I lived up in them stones for about two or three years. Got sent up there during the Great Scattering. A couple nights ago, I was up there in a cave. It was cold. My only friend was a skeleton. Sitting by a little wagon. He wasn't much of a talker, but he sure did listen good. Well, gray wolves and timber wolves all came together that night to track me down, seven of them. And they raided my little camp there. I was able to shoot two of them down. Yeah, eventually, two others got burned up in the campfire I made. A couple others, I don't know, I just got lucky, but uh, at one point I got so exhausted I was laying there while the wolves were snapping at my head. I prayed to the red stag. I said, give me strength, guide my hand. And he did exactly that, and I survived. After they all were dead, got on my horse. You know what my horse decided to do? I don't know if this was just a lesson from the Red Stag or what, but he decided to jump off a cliff, throw me down. He was so scared. Well, that knocked me the fuck out. I lay there for a day, angry at first. And then I thought, well, no, maybe this is a test. So once again, I prayed to the red stag. Give me strength, I said. And sure enough, one day, one night later, I was rescued. Now tell me that ain't worth something to think about. Never catch me. I'm too fast. They can't catch That's what the red stag is. He's not like I these freaks. That. Not like these freaks in here, preaching about eating people. That ain't right. I, I believe I'm the only one that is here in town right now that is familiar with you folk at all. Which is why I went to see what was happening. You lucky you arrived, deputy. I was starting to get real angry. Listen to those heathens talk about. All that craziness disgusts me. I've seen it for far too long, and I've lived a long life. The crossing has had a problem with these damn cannibals for far too long, deputy. How long? How long is it going to keep going on? I don't know. I don't have an answer for you, but... Brother, am I? We might could cure them. You're not going to cure them. Not kill. Cure. I know what you guys do. I've seen oh. it time and time again. Wouldn't you like them to be cured? They won't die. They won't it's get not, hurt too bad. It is not up no. to you to do that. Nobody dies. The law takes no. care of people, not you. It's vigilantism, we'll and you will go back to Siska. First of all, what if, what if they're willing? We're taking care of people. Well, first what of if all, what if they're willing? Response. What if they want to? Doesn't what is matter. it? That's their choice. It does matter, ma'am. You harm somebody else, we will have to arrest you. I'll go to jail if it can cure them. Hey, Big Bear, don't talk like that. We spent a long time in Sisuku to regain some sort of sense of redemption. And trust me, we learned. We learned a lot. You may think of us as monsters. Criminals, misguided individuals. But that badge is your Lord and Savior, and we have ours. I hope, my lady, that one day, if you ever find yourself with the creek, you come with questions, and maybe we can provide answers. We're all human in this very different world.
All right, well, I got to tend to some other things. It's nice to see you again, Eustace, Big Bear, and Mama. Good to see you, too. Likewise. It's nice see. to see you, Deputy. Uh, Mama, sure. would you want to go ahead and talk to this doctor? His name is Dr. Orvid. He might have some questions. I have, uh, some questions I'd like to ask somebody myself. All right, Dr. Nice Orvid. Nice to meet you. I'm glad to meet you. Oh, Gladys. Nice name. Mm hmm. Not too sure if you'd like to go somewhere a little bit more private or not. Okay. We can do that if you'd like. Uh, just by the tree there. It's just a. Uh... <clears throat> your questions questions first uh the lot of you uh you live out here butters creek correct yes we do uh, i've heard about a few incidents that have occurred around there and i just wanted your perspective of it if you might have any insight as well uh, have you noticed any strange drawings around the place hmm sometimes why I was wondering if you understood the symbolism behind it, if it was like a inside thing of the Creek people. Something of uh, these animals of some sort with horns? The stag. The stag. I've heard about this red stag you talk about. I was interested to learn more. And I did find something else. It might have been just a graffiti on upon a tree. But it spoke of something of a ritual involving a Oriel, if I pronounce that correctly. Does that what? bear any uh, thought to you? Yes, what? Big Bear? What was that last one you say there, Doctor? Uh, uh, I can't remember if I pronounced it correctly. It was similar to that Oriel or some, fo some form of that. Similar. Oriel. I've mispronounced it quite terribly. <laughs> Can you describe this a little bit more? It, it spoke of a blood ritual. Ah. It was a simple oh, <laughs> I see. You know what, yes. Doctor? I'm sorry yes. to interrupt there, Mama, but uh, perhaps maybe you'd like to uh, accompany us up there. We can explain it all in a lot more detail. I might be inclined, but I may have places to go soon. A uh, big bear, if it is, if you would like me to call you that. That's right. That's right. Oh, thank you. Read this. Oh. It's the first page. This will give you some insight. Interesting. Commandments. Indeed. Red, red stag is the Lord, your God. You shall worship the red stag and serve only him. Fish your weakness to the red stag. You will shed your weakness. Remember to keep holy the dookie day? I can yes. ask, what is a dookie day? Quite an important it's a holy day. day. Yeah. Yes. Oh, oh all right. Your it's the day Honor. marking the formation of Dookie Falls. Oh, uh, it's uh, oh, it's like a waterfall. Oh. Of sorts, it's a holy place. Ah, interesting. Honor your mama. Honor the chosen. They are the vestiges of the Red Stag. Well, it's always good to respect your elders. Mm -hmm. You shall only kill for family and the Red Stag. <laughs> well. You know, defending one's family is interesting. You shall not breed with McCarthy's. You mentioned them before in the church. They're the cannibals, the ones that uh -huh. live in Butcher's Creek along with us. We've been mortal enemies since the beginning of Butcher's Creek. Interesting. I must admit I've had 
my encounters with cannibals before. Not of the McCarthy's. I'm not too sure if you've ever heard of the name Gout before. Mm, don't reckon I have. I, I reckon all the cannibals the... spring from the McCarthy's in one way or another. I would, I would be inclined be to agree. A seven, you shall steal only what you need. Well, well, I can't judge that one. You shall not lie to family. Always respect that one. You shall only take a family member to wed. Keep it interesting. close. Yes, interesting. Keep interesting. the bloodline <laughs> pure. No family trees, just a family branch. Well, it's, you know, sometimes it's not the best to branch out. <laughs> Guess you keep the wood strong. You shall not covet any McCarthy's belongings. Uh, they are filth to be purged. The red stag delights in weakness, in pain, in hardships, in persecutions, in difficulties, in sickness, and in perseverance. For when I am weak, I can then become strong. I'm a stagly. Four, six, nine. Mm. Well, that was an interesting read. Thank you. I hope that you understand a little bit more. It offers a new perspective for me on what is happening over there. Thank we you. Can, we can sh certainly show you everything. Mm hmm. If you're willing. I might have nothing to hide. I will have to pose the question, of course. If I head over there, will I be in any danger of any sort? Not to say that you, Absolutely but also of the not. No. Right. We honor the, the, the right of guests. If you're invited over, you're not to be harmed in any way. Interesting. If that's the case, I accept your invitation. Hmm. Dr. Orvid, can we get a telegram number for you, perhaps? Uh, of course. Uh, let me know when you're ready to take it. I'm ready. It is Intelligent Shrink 013. Oh. All right. IS-013. Blended. We'll be in touch. Perhaps you can attend a sermon, even. We were going to give a small little sermon today until we found out that those crazy boys in there were cannibals. Yes, that definitely did disrupt some things. I was, uh, I think, following them for the past hour or two. These are the rumors of them. I was intrigued to see what was going to happen. They're definitely McCarthy spawn if I ever seen them. Like I said, not the first cannibal I've had to deal with. There's a reason why I have a shotgun on my back when I went in there. Mm. It's my Better smart. to be prepared. Yep. <laughs> well, I did spend some time in Sisico for my preparations. But it was either that or death. Well... Glad that you're still with us, Doctor. Uh, yes, well, I've been through quite a bit already. Take a lot more than just one to deal with me. Now, I shan't interrupt your day any further. I'm sure you have quite a bit to do and to prepare for your next sermon. Telegram me when you wish to, and I'll make sure to come to Brothers Creek if I can. And to ask, when, when I am invited... Uh, like any other host, am I allowed to bring a, a plus one with me or just myself? Bring someone who's willing to listen. If you're going to bring anyone. Of course. Trust me, most of my associates are very understanding. Well, it sounds quite good, though. Thank you. Well, it's been a pleasure. And I wish you it the has. best of days. You as well, yeah. Doctor. Yeah, same to you, Doctor. Praise be the Red Stag. Praise, Praise Red Stag. be the Red Stag. What a shit show. Are you telling me? Yes. 
You remember that boon fiddle I told you about a long time ago, Mama? Yeah. That's his ex girlfriend over there. Shit. Did she recognize you? Well, she did. Invite her up to the That's great. Not before I recognized her, but no. She helped me that day. I wouldn't be alive if it wasn't for the fact that she put medical attention on my body. Even though that she realistically was one who got me almost killed. But overall, she's strong. The right way. I think today was successful in some right. It was. We've made some interesting friends. We should take these th two out back and kill them by the church. Yeah. Hey, fellas. Uh, we gotta, hey, uh, we got we gotta talk to you. If you wanna right. go somewhere private. Sure. You wanna head None. up to Butch's Creek? We got something to show you. Is it shiny? Sure. Is, is it a town that's away from here where we won't get judged? That's right. You will yes. be safe. You will there's, have there's, to worry about judgment there's... from us. Is it no. the road of God telling us the right path because we might be confused or something? That's right. Well, I think we should go up the buck. They sound like real nice folks despite them thinking Mama's mean. You think Mama's mean still? She's real nice. Mama no. was mean, oh, she's but... a sweetheart. Jesus, I guess, dear. I guess we'll go with them. All right. I can't wait to see if they have to show us. Indeed. We'll Y'all got horses. horses. Yeah. You just... got horses? Yeah, we got horses. We'll give you a ride. Sounds good. Right, give me a minute. I got to tell the law that we're going with some people because we made new friends. They want us to make new friends. Oh, no need. No need. Uh, they already right. know. It's all right. They, they said we'll go with them. We made you some new friends. They're gonna take us on the right path over there. So I think we probably Thank you for your help. I have to get some sort of stew now. Hey, we're leaving. Yeah, we're out of here. Let's go. Now we ain't taking them. Oh, well, they might go up there on their own, maybe. I'll, I'll be with Dan back. You get your stew, you stay. The law is going to be real fucking suspicious and everything and told him. What kind of shiny is it? Is it like things that ravens find? Is that oh, shinier shiny? than that. It's, it's moonshine, my dear boy. I was a moonshine, baby. There you go. Mother's tape. Perfect. I got my horse. I'm glad that Buck and I are making friends. See, Buck's not good at making friends. He says that I'm dumb and I ain't smart and then I ain't have no friends or something. Do I sit up on your box or something? Uh, I got a box of my horse. I maybe used this there. Maybe well, I don't think it. I'm going to fit in that box. No, no, yeah. This box, I can't take it off. Either. Oh, it's it's mighty important. No. All right. Where'd he go? Do I sit on the horse, then? Or do I walk alongside you? Uh, hmm. Can I bring the cat with me? He's my friend. Leave the cat alone. <laughs> I'll see you later, Whiskers. I'm gonna go with these fellers because that's what oh, no. <laughs> Where's Eustace? There he is. Yeah, we still going with these folks. These are the horses and shiny, they say. Real interesting. <laughs> you believe it? All right, whose horse are we going on then? Am I riding your horse, sir? All right, give me a hand out there. Hey, All right. I ride with the lovely woman to provide you, Mama. Right, no nibbling. I don't have any plans to. Deputy, deputy, these young boys are very confused. Do you want them not to go? Me and not 
Yeah, I would, I would, I would be asking you not to do that. Wow, it's a pretty country, ain't it? I just, I'm just wondering where, you, what, what is this shiny thing that you want to show? Hey, them? but the law wants us to stay here for some reason. I'm confused. Don't they want us to leave? I thought we'd try to go and leave with our friends. Would you about... know? Hey, listen, lady. If you want them to stay here, they can stay here. All right, I don't know what the hell you think we're up to or whatnot. I mean, you just fucking picked us up today. Hey, it's real good folks, they says. But if I that's the case, them. they can stay here. It's bothering you that much. So, you want to stay here? Maybe you should come by the creek too and ask some questions. Maybe you'll get some answers. Maybe I make you feel more comfortable. I'm getting real confused now. I thought, was, what is we doing? <laughs> I don't know, fella. It does seem like they want to do it. They want us to leave them a van from try to go, and then we all... <sighs> we'll try. All right, hey, hey. First of all, let me give uh, you some advice, okay? Let me talk to my brother. He's a smart one. He go knows, talk he to you. This go talk to your brother. All right, this seems to be a conundrum here where there's a wheel that forced here where the one people don't want us to go, but they don't like us so much, and these people forgives us and they like us now. And there's a moral conundrum where they don't want us to go with them for some reason because for some reason they think it's they bad or something is what I'm feeling. But other than that, what was I saying? You said a whole bunch of nothing, Dalton. Well, God damn it. <laughs> they want us to go with them because they have some time for us to see. Ah, all right. All right. Rags. We'll, we'll, we'll go and we'll find our own sort of way. Yeah, yeah. I understand. I'm the smarter brother here, at least between me and Dalton. I we'll try to figure smart. it out. So, of course, with these folk, if they seem a little bit more confused, that will round. And, uh, of course, in their offerings of us for, you know, to take us somewhere and all this other nonsense, we'll just go on our own way so we get no one else confused. Okay? Yeah, praise Jesus. Praise baby Jesus. Yes, sir. Oh God, y'all just be yeah, safe. My brother's real smart. He sorted that now. stuff out. He sorted out real yep. good. There nope. ain't gonna be no trouble unless you try to find it. And we ain't trying to find no trouble. Yes, you're right. I agree. Is he? <laughs> Wait, so, so they're. Oh, now I'm confused. I wonder why they so gone gone so third. I can say they ain't want us inside that church no more. Show us again. We're supposed to be shiny. You ever go to Butcher's Creek? I've been there once. That's right. Due to our 
What do you think, Dalton? I know rest her soul, but I think Mama might have been a fault. Wait, you been saying that because Mama says you use her bathroom ton and, and your daddy wouldn't want to run around with other folks? And she doesn't like you too much? Is that why she beat you more than the other kids? Maybe. Maybe. Well, or maybe if you reckon that's what it is. But we don't say that part out loud now, do we, Dalton? You're right. I'm sorry. Thank you. There's no part of me hitting you. I've already done before. Y'all been eating people for your whole life. That's all we ever know. Not really much else. Been taught that the animals lost dog fans. They were. I guess it would make sense. But even for the plants that help us make us breathe, as my mom always said. Don't even try to eat any sort of plant. And also the case. <laughs> So we got two cannibals here with us. The idea that some of those city folk over there I see in the fort. I see them them. A good amount of them tend to go in secrecy. They keep it all the town. And yet they're finding dandy as they go and live their happy life. But when we try to live off the truth, well, they're the fact that it's which is where I live, baby. I've never said you got some damn fancy clay before. 
Well, that's what happens when you have over ten decades of Stagley family McCarthy and Billy that live around here, too. All of them been putting a good portion of themselves inside the place to where we live. Well, you right said there. McCarthy's bad, right? That they are, but they are neighbors. I bet they'd be the scum of the fucking universe. We'll tell you more about them in just a minute, all right? First bother? things first. Oh, sorry. You see that house over there? I see it. That is the Stagley Estate. That's you see where my, that, my mama and all of her brothers and sisters and her fathers and mothers and sister brothers and father mothers. And then, after all of them came together, mama made us. And we all lived inside the house at one point or time. That is real life, lady. He's lucky, you know. Our mama had us, and at the same time, she, uh, she tried to do a couple of different things, but it didn't really go well. That thing about the whiskey being poured on my brother was true. Our uncle did really do that. Apparently, when I was coming out, Buck was strangling me. He, he, was, he was holding my neck tight with one of his bellicle cord, like he was trying to garrot me. Oh, my. What I tell you? You may not have lived a fortunate life, but maybe that's something that me and y'all, we all had a people watching. Like who? McCarthy. No, it's uh, rags. Howdy there, rags. Well, oh, rags. Man, man, figured I'd swing on through and see what y'all were up to. Ball right, in. We're just talking. Yes, gamers. Everything that will come from there help feed the people. Thing is, my father, after his 13th child, he thought it'd be a good idea to pick up the Bible. The same Bible that Miss Goose preaches from, and many others. Right. You see any law following when he did this that, way? He became upset. I actually uh, stayed back a ways to look that, check that out for you. They were thinking of heading out, and then they returned back to Valentine last I saw. To the Bible. And my mama here tried to do everything they could. Try to sway him. Differently. Real difficult. Sorry there, Mr. Rags. Uh, by the way, good to see you. Welcome to the creek. Just explain more about our uh, wonderful place of where we live. Uh, you son don't of inter a interrupt bitch. Him. What do you mean, you son of a bitch? Wait a minute. Been, this is on? Rags. The same one. What? That, that's Rags? The one and only. Wait, you says we's the devil. I said a lot of things about you. So as y'all just in short, trying to say your words so you didn't, you know, associate, understandably so. A measure you had to take just in case. Just be Look, bundled appearances up. are a lot, all right? That they are. He's out of running himself a gator company. The company where the gators come down. Came to realize that he was uh, creating a pure, a pure riot. That his kids were not a, a resource that would just stay. He could make more. And one day, little Susie was out there, putting her toes inside the mud, sitting bait. And a gator ate my sister. My God. 
Gators eat people? I guess they does, because they don't eat mama. They done ain't, ain't your mama. And they Susie. And they was by one. My daddy put us out there instead of the bait, wiggling our toes inside the water, sending ripples down the river. And more and more gators started coming up. Buck, I, I'm starting to think gators is bad. Gators has always, always been bad. Oh. I, I, I lost seven of my brothers and sisters in a matter of a month. Until it was me, Big Bear, William, Little Beaver, Beaver, all standing out there. And it happened to be my luck day. For a gator came and chose me. And as its mouth opened wide, a maw so big, almost like it didn't have an end, it began to pull the water from behind my feet. And then from the right, my savior, Stag, rearing mm. its head down, all 14 points, Rearing, skimming off the water, it gored that gator in the belly. Something so weak. Fighting so strong. And save my life. A miracle. Freeze the red stag. Right in front of me. Now I learned that day. As that stag and that gator died in the water. As I took its head and put it upon my head. As remembrance of the miracle that manifested that day. That the weak will inherit the earth. That if you celebrate your weakness. You will eventually celebrate your divine strength. Well, I am pretty weak because my arms are like twigs on the reckon. He's talking about, you know, mentally you're in your mind, Dalton. Sorry, what is he saying? It's not about just your brain, Dalton. It's about what your heart and your mind deem as weak. And for those around you to help notice it as well, I realize that my strength a weakness was a loneliness, and my true strength was unity. And through this, I've been able to shift many of those around me to grow. Praise the red stag. Praise the red stag. Praise, praise be the red stag. So when I, when I tell you that the red stag is indeed a god, He's a god born from this earth, not from the heavens, not from the depths of hell. But every person who might think of us to be bad has gone ahead and gone through a crucible. Fourteen points for fourteen people inside the crossing. We've done ten. Never have we hungered for human flesh, for that is a sin. Never have we killed another, for that is a sin. What the outside people, people here. Might, might think of us. Excuse me. Excuse me. Howdy there. Howdy. Or oh, was that the lady from the church? Yeah, Eustace yep. asked us to come by. Yeah, all right. Oh, you want to speak to Eustace? Right this way, right this way. I oh, know, he, 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 I mean, I don't want to speak to him or nothing. He just asked us to come by, so. Um. Well, come on over, come on over. Okay. 
We're about to hitch a horse. Maybe, someday. maybe I'll witness a miracle. Yeah, hitch it up wherever you want. You're a guest here. That's not your two string. Your two it's string a false that can strength. see. It's influence. And believing in yourself and that influence. That is what is right. But this cannibalism needs to go. And you need to change. Well, Buck, Buck, what do you think? You're the smart one. You understand probably most of the things he's saying. Care you. Darling, he's pretty much saying in short that we have to stop eating people, which I mean, we could try to go and do so. We just have a bit more difficulty. So we never had anyone try to take out the time to help us in our endeavor of you know doing this properly. You know, maybe me and my brother can talk real quick and then we could come back with you. Yes, At least one second, I can pull him aside. Just, just know that you are human here. And you are not a monster. You stakes us people. We boys. all are. You're sweet boys, just misguided. Misguided is all. We's people. You hear He's that, people. Buck? We's people. You're people. Oh, yes. All right. Take yeah. your time. Yeah, come on, come on, do Real quick. Right. It all is right. good to see you, you Atlas. I mean, we. Mama, Honey, we didn't have too much going on, so we'd take your point off. The only reason you come out of here is to let you know the terrific that there is our house right at the top of the hill with all the stags on it. Very oh, stag we like. Yep. <laughs> Indeed. If you ever come here and need us, you can knock on our door. We'll come on over. It's not a problem. I don't know if there's a place that you would prefer, um, if your prefer horses get hitched or anything like that. I just put peace over that word somewhere. Oh, no. Just don't, no, just no. don't hitch it near no McCarthy's. They might decide to kill it and take it in and eat it. Oh, And also that, don't, don't put it over there by Dookie Falls either. You don't want your horse to fall place down. Place is sacred. Yeah, no, I, why do you call it Dookie Falls? I will show oh. you. Well, no. we can show you because we want to show these boys Dookie Falls. Perhaps is that what they... you used to make your dookies? Dookie yeah. Falls we got is smart a one here. place. Hey, hey, Big Bear, you want to do me a favor? Could you show this wonderful uh, person here, Mr. Rags, over there to uh, our kill? I think. Oh, sure. This place, to, uh, uh, what, to Dookie uh, Falls or to? No, no, no. We'll all, we'll all take a trip over to Dookie Falls. I want to hear these wonderful gentlemen's answers. But up there, I'll kill them, you know, for our shiny thanks. Oh, yeah, sure. All right. Come on. Thanks, fella. Well, if my brother's got to do the talking. Yeah, just shiny, right up so. here. Well, moonshiny. <laughs> oh, perfect, perfect. I think you'll be quite pleased with our facilities here. Yeah, you strike me as the right time. And a lot of people don't come snooping around either. Well, that's perfect. Exactly what I'm looking for. So right here, we got some bottles and whatnot. And uh, over here, this right here, this is the uh, distillery. Lovely, lovely. Gonna need y'all to show me the ropes. Don't know a thing or two about what I need or what I'm gonna be doing with it. Man, oh. can I learn? Oh, uh, sure. That's, um... Yeah, I can do uh... I can tell you right now that you will need to uh, go collect some corn or some wheat. That's the first step. And on your way, you'll need to collect a bunch of sugar cubes. All right. So, let's see. Uh, if you want to make a full run, you plan on running this or are you planning on uh, uh, selling it person to person? Little bit of both, but I'll let you in on a little something something. Gonna be, uh, possibly joining with the Transit Authority as a conductor. Hell, that might be the best way to, uh, distribute, you know. Rails yeah. make a hell of a network. That's right, you'll meet all kinds of people. 
Well, you do know. Man. You do know if you run it, you know, you get top dollar for it, maybe 300 bucks or something. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, but it's quite highly illegal. If you get caught, your chances of becoming a conductor are basically zero. You can't get caught. Well, I like those odds. All right. Well, then, all you got to do is take a whole bunch of wheat or a whole bunch of corn, get a whole bunch of sugar, make sure you got enough water to suggest so maybe, I don't know, two or three bottles of it. And then you're going to be making a mash out of it. You take that mash, you bring it up here, run it through this uh, high-tech machinery, and out comes the best shine you'll ever drink. Perfect, perfect. All right. Is that all there is to it? That's all there is. Quite simple. Well, that's easy as can be. I think I can handle that. Great. Well, now, uh, in the future, perhaps, uh, as you can see, we're going to get busy here in a minute. But uh, perhaps there might be some business arrangements we can come up with in the future. Like, I don't know. We'll, uh, I'll put my, we'll put our heads together. If you got any ideas, feel free to let us know, too, because it's a... It's, it's not, it's not the, well, it's a bit of a dangerous business, this uh, moonshine running. Well, I'm very intrigued by you lot and your whole operation here. All right. You know the routes? I'll learn them soon enough. Don't you worry. One of the, one of the most common routes is uh, cattail to Thieves Landing. I... That's one of the most common ones. That's the one the law likes to check up on quite a bit. Yeah, so all right, I imagine all right. you might know the inner workings of uh, ones that aren't so hot. Uh, perhaps, yeah. No, um, I don't know one of the routes too well. I know another one pretty good. But it's. Uh, I think your first step right now is just to uh, try to whip up a batch. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, just well, throw a bunch, a bunch of weight in your pocket, in your satchel, a bunch of sugar, water, craft it up, see how much it takes, and then yeah, you'll need a bunch more if you want to do a whole run. This is absolutely divine. You have my thanks. No worries, no worries at all. Just to uh, see anything funny here tonight, just to uh, keep it to yourself, yeah. Oh, I'm very discreet. Well, good. If we get back down, I think they're getting ready to stop the festivities. Festivities? Didn't realize I was attending a party. Yeah, in a sense. I just don't know if uh, cannibals can be cured, you know? <laughs> well, I suppose you might be the folks who would be able to if anyone could. We'll see. Stuff. I, I think I might need a minute, husband. Was it what? Cookie Falls? Uh, not yet. Not yet. But hey, day. Really appreciate you coming here. Of course. By the but, way, everybody, this here is AD. For those that are familiar, this from that uh, boom motherfucker who tried to kill me that once. Uh, oh, God. Uh. I'm not used to this quite a bit. <laughs> I have to take some use to get to. What is that smell? <coughs> I'm sorry. It might have been everything else to just it. That's a, that's a common symptom of uh, uh. eating human meat, you know. I've seen the McCarthy's do it time and time again. We'll get you clean, uh, boy. Don't worry. You have any sort of uh, whiskey, water, anything? Not right now. Uh, I want to tell you something, Mister. I don't much to talk and type, but you want to be cured of this disease, because that's exactly what it is. You'll just uh, do what uh, used to says there. Hell, if yeah. you don't try this, at least, you know how many people are going to be trying to gun y'all down. 
There's gonna be vigilantes crawling all over you like ants to shit. Well, yeah, yeah, quite a bit. Uh, like you made quite a public display. Let me tell you one other thing. I've been up in the snows for years now. I just recently returned down home. Got sent up there in the Great Scatron. Well, just the other day, when I was up there, I was attacked by seven wolves. Four of them were gray wolves, three of them were timber wolves, all running together. Killed a few of them, burned one up in a fire. Where I got so tired, I almost passed out. And I lay there with these wolves just growling and snarling right in my face. I prayed to the red stag. Hey, Buck, we strength. For your buck. He gave it to me. I ended up vanquishing all those wolves. Five minutes later, get on my horse, and my horse decides it's a, it's a good idea to just jump off a cliff. And it knocked me the fuck out. First, I was angry. Then I decided to pray to Red Stag. I said to give me strength to survive the night in these snows. Guide someone's hand to find me. You know what? Someone did. Saved me twice in one night. Hmm. Oh, the red stag is real, my friend. You're willing to accept it. Yeah, you know, between me and my mother, we're, we're, we're trying our best. We're trying to see what we can make of it all. And see what comes from it. I mean, we, we've been running for quite a long time, and Dalton could tell you about it, and our lives have been very rough. So... It could be a chance, but for him, I think he might be a bit more impressionable than I would. But at least he has a, a good thing. A really good thing, at least, about this, so... I'll try to see. Dodging! Dodging! Come here! How do you feel about these lovely people so far? They seem to be pretty good for us, right? They's real nice. They's got stories, and they's got their own mama, and they're all real nice and friendly. And they's gonna says I could be a buck too if I wanted. And they's gonna show us Dookie Falls, and maybe I could take a Dookie's there too. So as you can say between me, and my brother Dalton, well, well, very much have nowhere else really to go. I'm pretty sure every other town, even for us to try to go out of our way to do this, what we were trying to do did not work. It didn't I work see. at all. Well. What we can do, I can Where's almost get to you. There's a bear here now. It work. But there will be pain. Is that bear gonna eat us? No, Dalton, this is the man that's been talking to us the entire time. Wait a minute, it's him inside the bear? He's inside the bear? You see it right there, look at him. I guess he's inside a bear now. How did you get in there? Why don't y'all go up there and uh, talk to the red stag on, up Dalton. there? All right, if you say so, Mr. Bear. Go with the red stag. What is this? Where'd everybody go? There's all bears and animals now. Hey, Mr. Parsons. It's, uh... He's your savior. Is it the same stagger that is on your shoulders, or...? A human instrument to his will. I've only seen the red stag in vision. You used to look like that stag, the, the fella who was talking to us earlier, who said he got saved by a stag. Is you the same stag who did that? No. I am the red stag. You're the red stag. The, the instrument, if you would, to the red stag. The I god heard, born from the land. Real good. But let us show you where Dookie Falls resides. Damn it, Dalton, you always gotta take a damn boot.
the exiting of the false strength in the celebration of weakness. Yes, we's gonna get real strong and leave our weakness behind because well, that's what we've convinced to do. And my brother Buck, Buck, Buck said he's that's a good idea. So it's kind of like your uh, a crucible for uh, was it the seven deadly sins or something like that? Well, no, what you just said, but yeah. It's like when you're trying to, uh, Seven Deadly Sins, it's like, um... Is that the same when you just let Seven Folks you know, run around? Fry and stuff like that, yeah. Let me. Okay. But some uh. people consider that a strength in their eyes, like pride, their ego, you know? My, my mama used to let seven people out into the swamp, and they get yeah, chased by our kin for a bit. Then it was very really similar to what the crucible is. I'll explain it the best I can. We'll bring you to the place called the Death Pit. When is where false strength goes to die. There, you will humble yourself beyond those who are there and for the Red Stag to make his judgment. You will bear your own weaknesses to us. As well as your full strength. Once this has been done, you will turn your back to the Red Stag for the last time. Yes, sir. Why do you think it's called the Death Crucible? Is it uh, something you force people to go through, or is it more like they they ask to go through it? Depends. There have been those who have come willingly. And there are those who answer the question of what makes you strong with a false strength. And that, sir, cannot be ignored. Uh -huh. uh, I will continue. So after you announce these things, you will turn your back to me in the Red Stag for the last time. For as you bleed, every drop of your blood will sate the earth and sate the red stag as he feeds upon that which is falsely put as strength inside you. You will run. You will not look back. Though you look back, it means you are missing it, that you crave it, and you must continue to move forward. For your journey has just begun. For weakness will live on. And you will learn to harness it so you might celebrate your true strength. That's Red Stag. That is the crucible. Praise the Red Stag. After you're done. It's weakness you you call cannibalism should be gone. Just like that. Not quite as simple as just like that, that, but that does sound pretty easy. I like this idea. This is the beginning of your journey. And we will help shepherd you to salvation. Are you ready to see Dookie Falls? I'm are you ready? ready? To, I'm ready. I'm and ready you, as well, too. And are you ready to go through your crucible? Yeah, I'm ready for uh, this. Ryan has got a bunch of rats over there. The ball. All right. Hey, big bear. Fuck with the crew. I do believe they're law. Uh, sure. Looks like you might have law in the hands. Howdy, folks. Good evening, deputies. How are we all doing this evening? Just, Just fine. fine. How are you? Doing all right. Doing all right. 
Can't say we were expecting to see so many people here today. What do you say? Howdy. Howdy. Why is it that you thought there wasn't going to be a lot of people here? Oh, there rarely is in Butcher's Creek these days. That's well, going to change. That's not true. We just need to come visit more. families that live here, I hear. All over the place, in the hills, and the rocks, and the mud. Ah, right. Well, you, ha you didn't happen to see a wagon going north from here, did you? A wagon? Nope. Aye. No. Nobody's coming through it? here. All right, it'd be one of those big fancy ones with the two horses. No, sir. If we did, you would know. Of course. Well, uh, if anything does come through, do let us know. That we shall we'll send a telegram. Yes. Yeah, sure. Be the first thing I do. Glad to hear it. And, uh, where did you get these fancy costumes of yours? It's not a costume. Ah, my, it's my regalia. Mistake. Regalia, I'm sorry. Got it from my savior many, many, many moons ago. I and as he says that, the moon comes out, look. It was right over yonder. I am able to whisper. Oh, yeah. Like he does have the mystical powers, I believe now. Deputy, and this goes for the rest of yours. If you appear to entertain the thought, Butcher's Creek is open to you all. If you have questions, we have answers. Questions about uh, what precisely? Whatever you want. Curiosity is a son of a gun, is it not? You're certainly not wrong. What, uh, what is your preaching here? The good word. The word that celebrates your weakness and turns Do it into your true strength. Do enlighten me. What a question or two. It ain't too simple, deputy. But I ain't trying to take you away from your time. Why don't you come by on Tuesday or later on? You might find us. And if you do, we can talk. Y'all still using the same methods y'all did, or you got new uh, tricks up the sleeve these days? No trick. Why oh, call it a trick? Did no trick. Tricks are for McCarthy's. Thank you, Doc. You're welcome. To answer your question, ma'am, there is no tricks. Only salvation for those who truly want it. I you know what happened last time you uh, offered salvation to the unwilling. I'm sure it's fresh in your mind. Positive. Well, he's gonna be a part of a big family now, I think. Is that... Do don't mind us there, my lady. I promise you what we are doing is good in some eyes, if not the many. But I can see, judging by the demeanor of the two to my right and you as well, that you don't think so. It is sad. What Truly can I say? Sad. You've cultivated a reputation for that was probably that, uh, go against the grain. newspaper writer who was uh, cultivating that reputation. You know, all, our all lies, all lies, blasphemy. Well, I would agree. It's a damn shame. I thought there'd be deputies knocking at my door that night I was arrested. 
Not some people celebrating full string. We'll if be anything. having ourselves a sermon to enlighten those about what we're really about. Perhaps you should come by and listen. Okay. Actually, I would love it if you did. When these sermons taking place. We haven't Tuesday, decided Tuesday. yet, but most likely Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Just need to speak to Mrs. Gusta, make sure we do respect by her establishment. Mm -hmm. Yep. I respect a God-fearing woman. I ain't gonna tread on what she got going on there. So long as these summons ain't involving anything that would be against the law. Daddy. No. Only words. Only words and an ear to listen to those who have weakness in their hearts. Uh -huh. I think what my colleague here is saying is uh, as long as you folk aren't going around inciting people to commit any acts that may be con against the law, then no, I don't think uh, of course not. we'll have many problems. Of course not. Sounds okay. good to us, deputies. We're gonna good continue luck. our patrol, but, uh... Good luck on your search for this wagon. Anytime. Take care. Remember, if you do see us, we are only a telegram away. Sounds good to us. Take care now. Take Goodbye. care. Take care, deputies. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. That's how you say it, lad. No, it's goodbye, not how they. Now, where, where were we? we? Yes, where were we? Take a dookie on Dookie Falls, it all remembers right. Indeed. That's not what, damn it, Dalton. Big Bear, Dalton first. I get to go first. I let Dalton do it first. I go big, ahead. Do I follow Big Bear somewhere? Big Bear the rope. Is this Dookie Falls? Glad it is. Uh, it's rope. But they ain't supposed to go down there yet. Do I go over here first and take a Dookie? Well, you do. Yeah, that's right. Here, come on out here, though. You might, be, right. not, might not be able to fit in this, uh, do this. No. Oh, oh, gee. Oh, oh. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, he's not kissing him again, is he? Oh. Urza, I don't want no more kisses. You put me in the eye of your bare tooth. Here, can you step over here? Yeah, there we go. Ooh! Let's see how it goes, Dalton. Just, oh. Just go with it. Think Dalton. of the good parts of it, at least, or something. I'm thinking oh. about how much fun I'm having. I like being tied up. We played a game once where it's called Find a Dalton, and you tie him up and you leave him in the bush. Uh. Just, uh. You just leave him somewhere? Yeah. It's just like Find the Dalton. What I'm going to try and do is slip you through this little hole here. You ready? I think I'm ready, but there's some dookie on the rim uh, there. You might want to pop that what up a bit. The crucible is. It's just the first pot. A good thing I'm skinny, Buck. He might not fit through that hole. Well, nope, that didn't work. I think you just got to put me down the skinny end first. If you try to put me sideways, I probably ain't going to fit. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying. Hey, hey, take, take him down there and just get it over with. All right, all right. Enough with the ceremony. I think his shoulders are just a little bit There's so a right, lot of dookie right down here. here. Right here. There we go. Dookie falls. Praise bait. Roll, Roll around in it. Roll around. There you go. Do I taste something? Take the red stag. Let him enter you. Let him cleanse you of your weakness. Let him save you. Baptize him again. Uh, yeah, let him enter. Again, Big Bear. Again. Is that taste not too good? What is this? It ain't human, I'll tell you that. <laughs> One I don't, more I don't time. Think One more time. Sort of way that's anything. No. Oh. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. There we go. There, now they're both oh. rolling around it. Roll around. There you go. A little bit more. He's got a little on your face there, uh, Buck. Uh, 
Oh, it's Based on my it smells probably as bad as Mama does on the Fourth of July. <laughs> Uh, mm. I can't My, I'm sorry, my butt's on your face. Uh, I'm uh, real covered. Do I bring him up now? It's been a while since I've done this ceremony. Is this the dangerous part? <clears throat> and then we bring him up. Thank you. Crucible. Yes, sir. Uh, get in there. Uh, I feel like I've just been reborn or something. Mm, soon, soon. All right, enough. Uh, enough. To the uh, horses. I don't bark my head a lot. You, you okay? I think. Uh, oh, you ain't going to be right now yet. <laughs> Done. I should be able to. I should be able to get someone on here. Do I just see it on your box? It looks like there's a box there, but I don't think there is one. I'll just oh. sit on your box. There you go. Really, yeah. Am I getting taken by horse? Yeah. Yeah. Lead the way, that brother. I lead the way. Oh, we get any where's, sort of food after this. Where's my mama? brother starving? Where's mama? Mama. Yeah, we She's all been starving for a while. The there she is. There she is. No, you go eat. Trust me. You go and eat. I'm going to celebrate with you when you're done, too. I don't like to celebrate. We all we all get some food. I'm so hungry. I can't wait to eat something. I see why you just calls the Dookie Falls. It's a holy uh, place. I count it as Dookie there, and there's a Dookie hole above. It makes honestly, that makes sense. I'm surprised I figured that out. I guess these glasses is real helping me be a little smarter. Well, hopefully after today, you'll be a hell of a lot more smart. Well, I count it ain't. Eat no more people. It's gonna be hard to get smarter because Mama says when you eat somebody, you gain their power and their smartness as well. That ain't true. That's a lie that the McCarthy started many, many years ago, way before I was even born. Well, yeah. maybe you show me the truth then, because Mama doesn't lie. She's a good lady. Well, it's one of them lies that they've been telling over and over again for generations so that now everyone believes it, but it ain't So true. they told my mama a lie then is just you saying? It ain't, yep, it ain't your mama's fault she believes Why would anybody lie to my mama like that? Just ain't well, very nice. the person nice. before her probably didn't even know it was a lie. Like I say, it's been going on for generation after generation. Well, hell. Ain't there's a bunch of confusing malarkey? Have you ever felt stronger after you eat somebody? Usually, I run like a racing horse if there's a strong person. If there's a weak person, like there's real sick, we learn to eat sick people, you get real sick too. Yeah. I don't think it's nothing to do with it. What we're talking about. But I'm excited to have some new family, man. Me and uh, Buck was, you know, most of mamas and papas and cousins and kins is dead because of rattler snakes freezing in the waters and uh, well, they eating their own feces. Hey, where's mom? I think eight. I don't want this horse. That's what you got. The hell you do that? What I'm saying, I think I got eight. Ah. 
I'm gonna give you some goddamn I'm gonna hold my knife uh, Settle down there, mister. Settle down. Say, look, what if I hold my knife at you, fucker? What if I hold my knife at you? What if I hold my knife at you, old kid? Don't get on my horse. Get on my horse. I'm holding my knife at you. You hold my knife. I'm gonna hold my knife at you, alright? Hey, you! I could you. Get down behind your fucking knife on me. Alright, on count three, you both put the knives away. Okay. Three, two, one. That's called sabotage, motherfucker. I swear to flick. Now I have my knife on again. Well, sabotage me. What the hell is going on? All right, I have my knife at you now. Okay, all right, I've had enough. All right, okay, put I'm my three, knife I'm away. Three. One, One, two, two three. three. I, I sabotaged you this time because ah, I'm running. I could, yeah, damn it, don't do this time. Put the right, damn knife, knife away. away. How all about right. I unsabotage you? Huh? How about Wait, that? What does that mean? Means I got a gun. You do got a gun. It's got bullets in it. Not really, no. It's kind of more of a prop. Uh, my gun got in the mud and I lost it. It sunk to the bottom. The Damn fuck, Mama Goat? Why, uh, why was you I wrestling know. again? You was wrestling because you took out your knife and just started going against the man. It must be because I'm full of demons again. I'm hungry and I can't think straight. Hey, hey, take, take some more food. This time it's turtle. I got, I got a turtle. <laughs> Damn it, we're gone. We're gone. Ah, damn it. The fuck I did you do that for? He was just having demons in his body. She just cried. Don. 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 I said we don't kill him. No, I, I, didn't, I didn't hear that. Don't. All right, it says bleeding. Oh, no. Uh oh. Hey, hey, watch, watch your fucking brother real quick. I'll be right back. Let's see if I can go find Mama. I got a medical bag. Good. Take care of me. My head hurt real bad. <laughs> oh. Try to get, you. just try to get the doctors if you can. Just just try to get the doctors out. I'll deal with them. I'll take them. I know how to do it. Quick, you just gotta pee just, on it just before go. it gets worse. No, just just try. What the hell's that? Where he's going? Uh, I can't. I can't. We stop it. Wait! Stop! 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 stop. Yeah. Go back to that camp. Go back to that camp right there. I can't. I can't. I'm too weak. Come on! Come on! No. There's, there's a gunfight over there. You're gonna get yourself killed. Check. I'm saying loss. Uh, I, I, I don't think I'm doing this. Well, we. Uh, we go. We go. I can wrap this up. I've, I've treated injuries like this before. Wrap it up real tight. Get you back up on your feet. If you. Oh shit. I feel real dizzy. Like, fuck. I what think I'm about to spend time with Mama. Buck. I'm gonna go see mama now. No, don't, don't, don't see mama. I'm don't holding see pressure mama to now. it. He's bound uh, to stop the bleeding. My head feels real weird. I don't, Shit. I don't. Come on, but, man. Buck, I'm no. scared. I'm scared, Buck. No. Don't, Buck. don't go to the light. I'm Not scared. Stay away with us. You don't want to go with the cannibal. Send you straight to hell. I'll see some long pork in my. Come on. Come on. 
Don't go. Don't go with that bright light, mister. I swear to God, they ain't gonna like you up there. They're gonna send you straight down. Come on. Come on. No. Don't. No. Don't, please. No, oh, please. No. Please, no. Just a breathing tooth, man. I'll, 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 I'll do the, uh, I'll, I'll thump his chest. Come on, come on. No, no. Come on there, come on there, Dalton. Come back, come back. Come back. No, not the chase in his mouth. Come on. What's his name again? Dalton? Come on, Dalton. Wake up, wake up. Wake up. No, Dalton, no. please. Dalton, no. Hey. No. What? No. Oh, hey, what the fuck happened up there? What the... I think hey. I killed him. You hit him? Uh, I tried to hit him. Let's go back up. Let's go back up to the, no, house, to no, the grave up there. No, wait. Wait. The idea is that if they see him and he's dead, they'll blame you. Please. Let me take him, please. I don't want it used to be in trouble. Don't think you murdered him. Not right here inside this uh, tent here. Huh. I'll spend the time with, I can't with my brother some more. I'll try to do the best I can. Don't, please. Dang, you are so close, dude. Go try to find your today. friends if you can. I'll be with him. Don't go nowhere. Over here. Over here, over here, over here. Come this way. Right now. This way. One of them died. One of them died. One of them died, Mama. Mama, one of them died. Off the horse. Off the horse right now. Do you know who this is, Eustace? No. This is one of those bathhouse folk. Person. You was with them that day, weren't you? No, you I came wasn't. to go our Don't house. play stupid with this Don't lady. Don't play stupid with me. Do you, do you know Scout and Kit? No. Say it. Don't lie. The truth. I know you're lying. Look, look, listen. The bathhouse crew and my gang are different. That's why we moved to Rhodes. But you're the ones that came to Butcher's Creek. You're the ones no. that shot us down. I wasn't You're there. the ones that called the law, that sent us to jail, that no. got my son killed. He is no. dead because I'm of sorry. you. Because I'm of sorry. you. It wasn't me, please. I'm sorry. Look, I'll make it up to you. God, this whole, this whole plan you has gone totally fucked up. Back. You fucking pretty boy is dead because of y'all. Because y'all thought us what? Cannibal? I wanted to help, okay? Well, you know what, Eustace? I this wanted is the, to help. This is the 11th point right here. Please, look. I think you're right. Uh, you can get a lot of money from the law if you have me. We know you money. Us. <laughs> you didn't go to the death pit. And what you mean, one of them is dead? One of them died. His brother, William, is down there by the camp. Look, 
Yep. The big one's alive. The little one is dead. Where's the, where's Ed and all the rest of them fools? Where the hell they go? I led them away so they wouldn't find us. What you mean? I don't trust them. Mama, what if they go ahead and tell the fucking law? Look, I'm let's get this done. Let's get it done quick then. Look, Margaret, you need to talk to Marin Rose. You already talked to the law. You already told them where we was. You did. Using your friends. Again. You it wasn't did it. my decision to do it. I just wanted to help y'all. I know you did, but you didn't convince them to not do it neither. Was she, was she there? My son me. is dead. My was son she there? died because of you. Because of you. I'm sorry. I tried to help. She there that night. I tried nearly hard enough. Look, I'm the one that stayed behind and tried to understand what was going on. And I, I wanted to help. I'm sorry that I couldn't convince them. And I'm sorry about your son. I'm not the one that made the decision to go to the law. I'm not. And I, What's your I'll name? make it up to you. What's your name? Adelaide Roach. Adelaide. Why don't you meet Eli here? He's lying right next to you. Hi, Eli. I keep him company. Oh, and you are Adelaide. Adelaide, I have a question for you. Uh, what makes you strong? My love I have for those I care about. I see. That is a good answer, love. I'm gonna make something really clear to you. That the one thing that makes me strong is my love, too. Love I have for my family. You know, we don't kill people, Adelaide. How good to know. We help people discover their true strength by denying their false ones and celebrating their weaknesses. One of my strengths is love. One of my strengths is unity through those I love. And if you and yours didn't take it upon yourself without a reason to which I know of, you will jeopardize that love I have. My brother. My brother was killed because our mission was not completed. Why? Because we spent years inside of that hole. Oh, because of you. And the man who bared his face and name to me with great pride hiding behind a mask. Kit. And Scout. You rode with them. You found us at Butcher's Creek. Yes. One of them shot my mama. Shot William. Lee. And when I asked them why they were doing this, they said because we were filthy cannibals. I'm sorry. All I heard was gunshots. I didn't know who shot first or anything like that. I, I'm sorry. Adelaide, about your mama. I don't hunger for human flesh. We're not cannibals, Adelaide. But uh, what I... Uh, am, Adelie, is I am passionate. The bone you lie upon is of that who was also passionate. He believed in his false strengths and died with them in his hands. 
So I ask you another question, and I suggest your answer be good and well thought out. What makes you weak? What makes me weak? Mm -hmm. My mouth. I run my mouth too much, and I, I tell lies. What do you love other than your family? My husband. What else? Um. I, I don't know. I, I, I love m money. Go over and see if the cannibals over there are still alive. If they are, one stay in. One stay in. Don't put the other one down. Cooking, I love cooking. <laughs> hey, your brother. Help! Help! Mama, watch him. Watch him, Mama. You want me to get him? I'll go get him. You ain't gonna catch him. You unintentionally came by and took one thing that I loved. Sir, I didn't shoot. I didn't shoot it at all. I swear. I, I don't know if this one deserves to go through the crucible. I'll be getting something from her. My son's in the ground because of her actions, because of the actions of her friends. Then, Mama, her answers of what makes her strong and weak suffice. With her punishment. They do. I'll let you decide. You took away a mother's son, albeit unintentionally. Your actions led to it. The question is, do you ride with Scout in this kit? Scout is my family. A true shame. Please, I want uh... you to let them know that we showed you this kindness. What? <gasps> thank you. you. Don't thank me yet. I'm still gonna leave you with something that you're gonna remember forever. Now run! Run, <laughs> Adelaide! Running. Don't you stop. 
No, he ate him. He ate him. He fucking ate him. He ate him? Yeah. Are you serious? You stop running literally. Don't you look at your map either. Get the fuck out of here. She showed up on you by the stag. You too, scout. You too, kit. Come on by the brick, cause they have a Oh. Cause we got plenty of answers. Don't you ever come back to Fudger's Creek? You hear? You heard? We need to go, we need to go back and fucking report what the hell we did, we just saw with that other fella. No, it's gonna be fucking... That, that man ate his, ate his brother. Yeah, we need to go fucking... Come on, come on. Yeah, let's go. This is why their mama, they should have been there for the fucking goddamn crucible. They would have known how much of a fucking idiot is gonna be able to testify. Fucking did it. By the way, Mama, yeah. Mercy was a good choice. She was right. She was trying to talk to us. She was one of the only ones that had a brain that day. She's lucky. The rest of them aren't going to get my mercy. There he is. Be it. I got him. We need to get to Hannesburg. It's disgusting. Oh, God. Come on. Mark the, mark the way to Hennesburg. Where the hell mama go? Mama, oh there she is. I got lost looking at it. Can't believe he did that to his own brother. Yeah, oh, uh, which way do we go? That man, all he could talk about was how hungry he was. Man, this is a fucking nugget of a man. He rode away with a fucking cleaver out of his down in his hand. God damn, we were so close. Could have cured him. What a fucking mess. So much for our first day out of Sisica, Mama. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> what about all this talk of peace and forgiveness? And look what happened. Well, I guess Red Stag has other plans. Hey, oh, there, this way. This way. Here we go. Forgiveness was never an option. Yeah. Well, Watch the, out uh, for the mayor. For Eustace. I 
Okay, I'm mama. Down this way over here too. Go down this way, down the stairs, right from the clinic. doctor's office, I'll go send a telegram. No, we need to be here when they come over here and then think we're gonna fucking, we've done this. I'll yeah, put I'll, them down. Yeah, we'll I'll go send a telegram. I'm gonna send a telegram over. It's a big mess. Try carrying it. Not wash this goddamn McCary off twice. I've never heard anything like that before. Unfortunately, brother, I have not just once, but thrice. Hey. Dr. Creed fella, and I got a vision. Maybe about a year or so after you left, I got a vision that, uh, the rich stake wanted me to go to Tall Tree. So there were individuals over there that were um, misunderstood. Individuals that were hungering for human flesh because they never had the abundance of anything else. And I thought that that was a weakness, or excuse me, a false strength. Weakness is resolve hunger. Their full strength that they knew that they could just eat what was abundantly in front of them. I tried with them too. I did. But unfortunately, the same thing happened to yours, the same thing that happened to us a few months ago. They thought us should be cannibals. They thought the bitch stayed because he dressed in a bloody pelt and a big red head. That I too was someone who hungered for flesh, desired it, acquired it. I couldn't be further from the truth. But yet, here I am, trying to fight them off. That's where I met Gavin Summers, hunting these cannibals like they were animals, they weren't human. 
And that's where I realized many folk were doing the same. So I done told him, I said, the big, the big guy, whatever his name was, I said, if you don't get cured of this here and now, you're going to have every goddamn gun in the crossing hunting, hunting you down. He chose to eat his brother over seeking out a cure. What you were saying. It shouldn't have been for anybody. Fuck. He told me that he, uh, he's the one who killed his brother. He hit him. Is that right? We did. It beat him over the head. He was trying to antagonize me with a knife. I saw that. Uh, he, yeah, right, right. And he grabbed his brother by the back of the head and beat him over the head. But now the man's missing arms, two arms and legs. How the fuck are we going to explain that? I bet we're all going to Sisica. They probably won't give I, shit. I ain't going to Sisica for that. No siree. You come somewhere? Absolutely not. Dragging something. Oh my god, is that rags? Rags! 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 Hey, you rags! Oh, he's dragging the mayor. Hey there! What are you doing Shoot. here? Well, Where go the take fuck a look. You go? Where the fuck you going? I was right behind you, then we lost you. And then we were looking for Grandma here and lost her too. Son of a bitch. Listen, what? One them them fucking the goddamn cannibals, man. Look, look in there, man. Oh, God, what am I about to see? He's laying right here. His damn brother. What to him? His damn brother killed him with a rock. Yeah, and then we had, a, we had another little thing going on, so I had to leave them by a camp by the river. Next thing we know, they're riding off. He died. His brother died. I saw that He's happen. dead? Yep. Yeah. And then, while we were running through the woods, on a crucible, we found him half-eaten. His brother fucking ate him. I'm gonna be sick. I can't. I can't be in here. No, it's uh, it's yeah, quite it's a sign. Enough. Try, try to imagine carrying that fucking thing all the way over here, over here. Oh uh, God! Yeah, let it all out. Let it all out there. What the hell is wrong with those boys? Hunger. That's all he could talk about. Was he so damn hungry? You gave him some food, right? It's okay. All right, Damn it. it's okay. It's okay. Well, so that Dalton get it out. Tail with all of his yeah, pieces that was, about. That was Dalton. Son of a bitch. His brother fucking rode off, heading to heading to north. The fucking cleaver in his hand. Fucking goddamn idiot. It's huh? shit right here, there, feller. That fucking makes us look like a fucking bunch of goddamn monsters. Fuck. Nah, you were trying to help those boys. They can't be helped, though. They're too far gone. Nobody's too far gone. That's the type of fucking mentality that my father had you. You're too far gone, you ain't worth a fucking pile of shit that you done spawn from. I Look, look, maybe you should have just gone a little bit easier with them, you know? Gently prodded them in this direction. From what I can tell, those boys have been chewing off other people for since they were kids, you know? Yeah. All their lives, all they know. I mean, that's some deeply rooted shit right there. We hadn't even done anything. We hadn't even started yet. They really didn't even start they went, yet. They went fucking crazy. He pulled out knives, started look, attacking. Look. Don't get too down about it, you know? Now, maybe this whole stag thing, and I don't know what to think about it right now, but I got something I want to show you. When 
I got separated from y'all. Well, I was looking for a while, right? Right at my moment of weakness when I thought I'd never find y'all, this thing came out of nowhere. Reared up on my horse. The horse got scared half to death and bucked me from it. I was not more than a foot or two away from this thing, looking at it eye to eye. That's when I pulled out my repeater here. Aimed up, to do. trained on it, let off a couple shots, square between the eyes. You felt it, didn't you? I thought I was looking death in the eye. But right as the moment struck me, oh, something else coursed through my body. Something else very similar to that feeling you had when you were just a boy. And that stag came to rescue you. So you felt the spark in you too. Yeah, I felt. I felt strong. That's what I felt. Through the weakness of being alone. You took up the pride and strength of the extension of yourself. And exuded on the path to pure divine strength. Gets me thinking y'all may have been on a trial of your own when we got separated. That's when my trial began. My crucible. It's me. I praise her good stay. I had not heard better words than this in a long time. Yeah. Mm. I had not what I was expecting. Something. I'm all ears. Mr. Riggs? What makes you strong? I've been all over this country, traveling alone, going from place to place. You see, I uh, wasn't always that way. Grew up in a city surrounded by people. Became an entertainer, a singer for a while till had a bad accident. Put my singing days behind me. Couldn't work the mines because it irritated my, well, my injury. Just come. Couldn't work much because, well, it's still recovering. So I kind of went from place to place. I came to drift for a while. I was stopped. Now I'm starting to think maybe my days in isolation. Well, that's what gave me my strength. Please be the rich stag. A brilliant strength to have. Deputies, there's Hello a situation there. on the inside. What's going on in there? Testimony. You're, uh, you're gonna want to mentally prepare for this. It ain't pretty. What happened? By his own brother. What the fuck? <coughs> How do you know this? Yeah. We fed him, gave him food, hospitality. Spoke to him about the red stag. Did everything we could to try to help their ailment. What do you mean you did everything you could to try to help them? We gave them regular food. We gave them hospitality. A place of normalcy, if you will. And we ended up getting them over to 
right into the crucible. And this is where we found them. We lost E.D., and we found Mr. Rags. And by the time we came across down the road, we found his older brother chopping at his other one. Did you run them through the crucible? Nope. Only told him about it. Okay. Well, we can guarantee Rags even as witness. We put them through nothing. So if we went over there right now, it would be covered in blood? Right now? Where we found him, yes. We can show you exactly where we found him. Now, his brother stole a horse. Kevin, mine. Sucker punch. Pelt on his back. Old red mane. Took him, and he started riding off to the north, heading towards the laboratory. Ain't too sure if you try to find him or not, but that's where he went. Heading more towards, uh, what's that, Amberino Mountains, Amberino. that long road. Okay. So I can't be in this fucking room anymore. Why there you go? The name of those candidates? We tried to... It was, what's his what's the brother's name? Dalton and what oh, else? Uh, really did try. I don't remember the big one. I don't remember the big one either. Just Dalton Fuck. really struck a chord with me. Right. You remember big, big guys? There's, there's I don't remember his name. Which was no, the one that's dead? Dalton, Dalton is the one that was eaten. Skinny one. The kind one. Yeah. One who listen. What a goddamn shame. I mean, they were eaten by your own brother. I mean, it sounded like we were giving them food they couldn't eat. Yeah, they was they was spewing it up real quick. You started before. I talked to the boys in the church in Valentine. They were telling me their ma had them eating folks from since the day they were young. Boys weren't grown up in it. Yeah, well, I wish I knew that. I would have known I cannot teach that. Oh my god. You can't you can't blame yourself for trying. You ain't wrong, Mr. Rex. You ain't wrong. Like I said, no one is above redemption. I just I just can't believe he did that, especially to his own kin. Yeah, yeah. Find him on the road like that after he ran past. That's fucking, that is so crazy. I just see. wish I was there. I, if, if I didn't, I was hanging back a little bit. Hey, if I, if I was a little hey. bit quicker, maybe, maybe I could have done something. Mama, ain't no need to be trying to blame yourself. You did what you could. Now it's a little there, and their purpose to do what needs to be done. I don't think it would have happened if me, Edie, and the other man were there. Yeah, well, Edie got attacked by a mountain lion as well, looking for y'all. Is she dead? Is she all right? Ah, she's banged up a bit. Got a claw on her, too. Do we have an exact location? I thought I'd find her here, actually, well, I could but they I must could have sure have Well, I hope that Edie's all right. I think she'll pull well, through. I'll ride with you on your horse. Oh, I can't, uh, unfortunately, right. Oops. Can I have a horse going? He, he stole Kevin. Can I, um, borrow one from friend? Uh, got a horse. Hey, you want one more ride on the back of your horse we can both go? Miss Rags, we look after Mama. Go. I, might go back. I gotta, I gotta go back over to the stable. Yeah, go, you gotta go to the stable. Yeah. I don't oh, know. Shit. Okay. 
uh, stables all the way down there. And we don't allow us to ride in the back of their horse. Drive the deputies, have them drop you back off at the creek. I'm gonna head over there now, I think. Okay. Get some rest. I will. We love you, Mama. It's been a long day. There it is. I'll see you soon. All right. I'll see you right. soon, boys. Uh, I'm yeah, there geez, is. If you wouldn't mind. I'm right. getting tired. You said you'll need me to go. I don't need you to go. No, I can go. I'm pretty sure I know. It, it was, uh, was it right there, right in the intersection. I believe I know where it is. Okay, man. I'll, I'll hang back then. I need to, uh, I need to, uh, take a bit long putty. Okay. Yeah, take yourself a name. Gotta go, guys. I'll be back, though.